from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Here in Romans chapter 8, verse 16, assurance from the Holy Spirit, letting our spirit know that we are saved and that we are adopted into the family of God. Blessed assurance. Individuals today in the church, some have this kind of assurance and some do not. There are two reasons why individuals may not have blessed assurance. Number one, they may be unsaved. They may think that they are born again. They may think that they are saved based on their religiosity, based on their church attendance, based on their church titles, based on their church experience. But they are not saved. They have not bowed the knee and trusted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And as a result, the Holy Spirit is not dwelling within them. They are trusting in something else besides the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. And as a result, they are not born again. Individuals that are saved, born again, are born of the Spirit, according to John chapter 3. And the precious Holy Spirit indwells them and bears witness that they are saved. The second reason why individuals may not have this blessed assurance is because they have broken fellowship with the Lord. They may be Christians, they may have been saved at some point, but they have backslidden, and they feel distant with the Lord. Their prayers seem to bounce off the ceiling. They don't have that assurance. Instead, they feel alienated from the Lord based on unconfessed sin, based on a pattern of lifestyle that is not pleasing to the Lord. Whether it's sexual sins, whether it's lying, whether it's unresolved anger, whether it's hatred towards others, there is something that broke fellowship between them and the Lord, and they feel a sense of distance between them and the Lord, and there's no assurance. Their conscience is being pricked every day to repent and confess their sins. Yet, if they choose not to, they will remain backslidden and remain distant without that blessed assurance. Blessed assurance is not trusting in works. Blessed assurance is not trusting in our intelligence or our experience. Blessed assurance is not comparing ourselves one with another. Blessed assurance does not come from individuals trusting in good works or good deeds. Blessed assurance will not come individuals comparing themselves one to another. Blessed assurance does not come individuals trusting in their popularity and who they know. Blessed assurance does not come from individuals trusting in church membership. Blessed assurance does not come from individuals trusting in themselves that they pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Blessed assurance only comes as individuals trust in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, trusting that he died for their sins, rose from the dead, and that they're washed in his precious blood on the cross of Calvary. Blessed assurance comes from the Holy Spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we belong to the Lord. Blessed assurance is like Acts chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 where an individual was healed and saved and began to leap for joy praising the Lord. 
Blessed assurance is like peace, like a river. Blessed assurance is like 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 8, joy unspeakable and full of glory. Blessed assurance will cause us to dance a jig of joy for the Lord. Blessed assurance will cause us to lift our hands and shout hallelujah, the highest praise. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed assurance will cause us to have tears of joy fall down our cheeks as we glorify him and magnify him. Blessed assurance is that sense deep down on the inside that no matter what is going on around us, we have that assurance that everything is going to be all right. Blessed assurance is beyond faith, but causes us to be faithful to the end. Blessed assurance is us having a sense of purpose and meaning in our life that we are in God's will and we look beyond this world to the world to come where we have a mansion waiting for us up on high and our names written in the Lamb's book of life. Blessed assurance is knowing that we are forgiven, knowing that we are loved washed in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit itself, beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And for those who do not have this blessed assurance, we beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to bow the knee Humble yourself and cry out to God to trust Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And you will have that assurance deep down on the inside that you are saved, forgiven, born again. And you will begin to live a life that loves the Lord and looks forward to his coming. Scripture echoes all these accounts of blessed assurance and more in Psalm 32, verse 11. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Thank you for listening to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International with Dr. E.K.D. Quick. For more information, log on to our website at lifechangingministries.com.